Microsoft has just pushed out the first major update for its band since its launch in October. And one of the cool new features is the availability of a virtual keyboard. But how well does it actually work on such a tiny screen? Surprisingly, it works really well. The way to start a text is to tap on the messaging tile and reply to one of the previous messages you've received. Or you can just reply to a text when it comes in. Scroll upwards on the screen and you'll see a reply icon. Tap that and then from there you can select the keyboard option, voice the text with Cortana, or choose a response from the list of the pre-selected replies. Once you select the keyboard, you'll notice it takes up the entire screen. But don't worry, you can always scroll over to the right to see what you actually wrote. This keyboard uses a prediction engine so you don't have to be entirely accurate while typing and the end result is very good. Don't worry if you missed the letter by a bit and sometimes entirely. The prediction engine will do a pretty good job of figuring out what you're actually trying to type. To add numbers or select punctuation, just scroll over to the left and you'll see a menu where you can select one or the other. As you type or after you finish typing, you can scroll over to see if you're satisfied with the result. If not, you can tap a word and just above it you'll see a few options to select from if you're not satisfied with what you see. There's also an X to delete the word or you can select the plus sign to add more text before it. Once you've finished, you would press the action button to send it off. Another cool feature is the ability to see the entire text or email in a new readable way by quickly flashing one word at a time. This is pretty helpful for longer texts and emails which wouldn't display properly in their entirety before this update. And to trigger this, you would press the action button. We're very impressed with how Microsoft implemented these features considering how tiny the display is. And although it's nice to have this ability, it's hard to imagine a situation where one would be using this when your phone is always nearby.